This is the Cirrus SR-20, one of the most underrated planes in general aviation. Conceived in the 1990s by Cirrus aircraft founders, brothers Allen and Dale Klapmeyer, their vision was to create a modern, safe, and accessible aircraft that utilized the latest in aerospace technology. The Klapmeyer brothers were driven by a personal mission to improve aviation safety, spurred by a mid-air collision that Allen survived in 1985. This event profoundly influenced their design philosophy, leading to the integration of the now famous Cirrus airframe parachute system in the SR-20, a whole airframe emergency recovery parachute system that has since become a hallmark of Cirrus aircraft. The prototype of the SR-21 took to the skies in 1995, showcasing several innovations that were revolutionary at the time. Not only did it feature caps, but it also introduced the use of composite materials extensively throughout the airframe, which provided not just structural strength and lighter weight, but also greater aerodynamic efficiency and lower maintenance costs compared to traditional aluminum constructions. Powered by a Lycoming engine that delivers 215 horsepower, allowing it to cruise at speeds of up to 155 knots, the SR-20 has not only served as a premier training aircraft for flight schools around the world, but has also been a popular choice for private owners due to its blend of performance, safety, and relatively affordable operating costs. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Cirrus SR-20. Stepping inside, you access the cabin through dual doors located on either side of the fuselage. It's big for a four-seater with a very high build quality and an interior like a Lexus or a BMW, not like an airplane at all. The composite finish is smooth and, of course, devoid of rivet lines. The cabin's dimensions are 49 inches, or 1.24 meters in width, and 50 inches, or 1.27 meters in height. Cirrus has innovatively redesigned the interior, drawing inspiration from the luxury automobile sector to include a plethora of new features, such as revamped interior panels, adjustable task lighting, and ambient accent lighting. Enhancements include more durable cup holders, additional storage pockets, and dual center console compartments, among other improvements to enhance cockpit organization and accessibility. Conveniently situated near each seat are powered headset jacks and illuminated high-power USB-C outlets. In flight, the automatic fuel selector system simplifies fuel management by automatically alternating between tanks after every five gallons. From a design perspective, buyers have the option to select all leather premium interiors or opt for the contemporary Cirrus-specific black Alcantara inserts available from the latest design offerings. The upgraded Cirrus IQ status screen now displays the aircraft model designation and features an enhanced navigation bar that shows aircraft status, inspection intervals, and a calendar that tracks warranty expiration dates. The newly introduced Cirrus IQ application is equipped with several functionalities. The maintenance minder feature actively monitors and alerts upcoming inspections. During flight, the flight hour meter updates inspection cards, presenting a progress bar and countdown to the next inspection event. The MyTrip module automatically records each flight, compiling essential statistics and documenting achievements obtained during flight. The warranty section details the expiration dates and flight hour limitations for the spinner to tail warranty and CMX coverage where relevant. The aircraft is outfitted with cutting edge safety systems that offer comprehensive protection for both pilot and passengers. These systems include electronic stability and protection and the Cirrus airframe parachuting system or CAPS. Visibility is exceptional in this aircraft, further enhanced by UV protected windows, which not only guard the interior against sun damage while parked, but also help maintain cabin temperature during flight. Now let's step into the cockpit. Cirrus has continued to work with Garmin, and the SR-20 includes the reimagined Perspective Touch plus integrated flight deck with 12 or 14-inch high-resolution displays and twin GTC touchscreen controllers to mimic the functionality and redundancy available in the VisionJet SF-50. Engine Start has transformed into a push-button interface preserving the ability to check mags and set mixture while making the process feel similar to that of the SF-50. The updated automated flight control system incorporates smart servos and includes an optional yaw damper. Updated synoptic pages and streamlined checklists aid the pilot in monitoring both systems and procedures, 
throughout all phases of flight. It's telling that Cirrus aircraft looked up the model line to its Vision jet to drive out complexity from its core single-engine pistons, sending its engineers on a journey to find ways to make the SRs as straightforward to operate as the jet. To this end, Cirrus has introduced a new shallower menu structure in the touchscreen controllers, along with a scroll wheel for turning through the KS-linked on-screen checklist smoothly. Still on the ground, taxiway routing and a contextualized three-dimensional safe taxi guide the pilot around complex airport layouts, decluttering and slewing the PFD imagery to match the airplane's speed and position on the airport. The system features a QWERTY keyboard interface with slightly larger keys and a dedicated comms control facility, so regardless of what page you are displaying, you can still enter frequencies into the system. When not in use, the keyboard defaults to comms, radio, transponder, nav, and course, and a little blue light appears while all of the blue number keys illuminate. If you move from radio to transponder, the blue numbers remain normal lit. If you move to something requiring the alphanumeric keys, the blue numbers go out and are replaced by the alpha keyboard letters and numbers illuminated in white. Simple, yet very effective. The aircraft features a level button, a one-touch autopilot engaged capability that captures altitude and rolls at wings level. It's designed particularly to be used at times of spatial disorientation, a moment of confusion, very high workload, or even a loss of control. Pressing the level button will normalize everything by rolling the wings level and capturing the altitude, giving the pilot time to take a deep breath and deal with the situation. The level button works alongside the ESP within the autopilot function. ESP uses the autopilot servos to engage a stability protection mode when the pilot is hand flying to protect the aircraft from over-controlling. If the pilot enters more than a 45-degree bank, the ESP provides stick pressure to bring the plane back to 30 degrees. If you approach the stall speed, it will provide an oral alert as well as a visual alert on the PFD and will gently push the stick forward and the nose down to gain a little more speed. If you are overspeeding, it will gently raise the nose. The system is designed to keep the aircraft within a safe envelope and only cuts in when the aircraft is being flown in a manner that requires intervention. Keep the aircraft within its design limits and you would never know the aircraft even had the ESP system fitted, but it's reassuring to know it's there. Pilots will also find an improved flight control incorporating a stick shaker function to piggyback on the other envelope protection features in the Perspective Plus series for enhanced low-speed situational awareness. Both the left and right controls vibrate to warn of an approaching stall condition. Another new addition to envelope protection is flap airspeed protection. The system monitors airspeed to protect the pilot from accidentally deploying or retracting flaps when the aircraft is traveling too fast or too slow for the given flap configuration change. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Cirrus SR20 is powered by a Lycoming four-cylinder IO390C3B6 engine with a TBO of 2,400 hours, delivering 215 horsepower. The aircraft requires 1,685 feet or 515 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day and has a useful of 1,030 pounds or 467 kilograms and a full fuel payload of 775 pounds or 350 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 780 feet or 237 meters and a maximum ceiling of 17,500 feet or 5,335 meters. At moderate weights, expect 700 to 800 FPM initially falling off to 500 FPM above 4,000 feet. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of 155 knots with an average hourly fuel burn of 10 gallons or 38 liters. Owners say the POH is on target for fuel burn at about 10.5 GPH for typical cruise, 9 GPH when Lena peak. And finally, the aircraft has a maximum range of 710 nautical miles which is 815 miles or 1,315 kilometers and a minimum landing distance of about 1,280 feet or 390 meters. Now let's talk about the price and cost. The base purchase price for a new Cirrus SR20 is $640,000 before options 
and while the annual fixed cost is estimated at $60,000 to $90,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $150 to $250. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.